The throttle actuator control replaces the need for mechanical linkage between the throttle body and the accelerator pedal. It also replaces the need for an external cruise control module and an idle air control valve. G'day, I'm Zach. Welcome to Automate. TAC systems enable the integration of adaptive cruise control, electronic stability control, traction control and active braking control with the engine management system. Removing the amount of moving parts also saves money and reduces servicing costs. A TAC system consists of an accelerator pedal, position sensors, an engine control module and a throttle body assembly. The driver's torque request is communicated to the ECM via an accelerator pedal voltage signal. With this information processed, the ECM can command the throttle valve motor open or close, achieving the desired torque. The ECM can make adjustments to the throttle valve without the input from the accelerator pedal. Fast idle can be seen during cold start conditions or when the air conditioner has been turned on. The ECM may command the valve closed during a traction or active braking control moment, regardless of the driver's torque request. A tack system on a common rail diesel has no control over the throttle valve assembly. The valve is normally in a wide open position. Again, the job of the accelerator pedal position sensor, or APP, is to convey the driver's torque request to the ECM. There are different types of APP in use in current motor vehicles. A variable resistor with two position sensors for redundancy, or a contactless position sensor. To continue watching this video, you need an Automate membership. Join today and equip yourself with the best automotive training available.